What's up guys, my name is Dorian Vaughn. I'm a junior at Ryan University. I'm here to give you guys my last and final speech of this semester. There are so many people around the world who love to watch college sports, including myself. The most important sports that people watch nowadays is football and basketball. And if you look at these different games that we watch during the season, and even going to the playoffs, there's so many viewers, there's so many people watching these games. The most important month of the year in sports is March, March, March Madness, NCAA tournament. Everyone comes together for their team, whatever team they're rooting for to watch these games. And we see that there's so many people tuned in on the TV. There's so many people paying attention that these TV channels are making a lot of money. And you wanna know what's funny? The people who are actually bringing the entertainment, the actual players, aren't receiving any. And that brings me to my main point and problem that I'm having within college sports. And that is the fact that college athletes are not getting paid for what they do. According to an article I read on collegeexpress.com, I talked about how college athletes aren't being paid in the sense that if you look at the college coaches, yes, they're the ones leading the team, yes, they're the ones drawing up the board to show what players need to do and what they shouldn't do. But the players are the ones actually on the court, actually doing the work. That They're the ones actually making the winning bucket. They're the ones that's actually trying to die for the ball. They're the ones that are actually trying to go for the game when it's still. These college coaches, they're making a lot of money from even just coaching. When there's a big marquee matchup, it talked about in the article that they get bonuses. When they go further in the NCAA tournament, they get bonuses. While yes, they're leading the team, like I said before, the players are the ones actually making the winning plays. And this has become a reoccurring issue within college sports. It's been talked about over the years and it's something that needs to be addressed and something that needs to be fixed. And it's actually starting to become more frequently in the news now because of thinking about actually doing it, actually paying college athletes. And if you look at it from a different perspective, look at it at your job. Let's say you work at a department or whatever company you may be working for and you're putting in time and effort, you're working nights, weekends, you're just putting more effort than most people would. And you see the company succeeding, the people around you getting reaping the benefits from your hard work. But yeah, you aren't. You aren't receiving anything. And you may wonder to yourself, why am I not receiving anything? I'm the one playing the work. I'm the one actually putting in more hours than other people. But yet, you're re receiving nothing. That's sort of how college athletes feel. They're not receiving any sort of reimbursement for their hard work and dedication to playing on the team. It's just the schools benefiting, the coaches benefiting, even the TV channels benefiting from all of these different <clears throat> games that's being broadcasted. A solution that's been brought up as of recently and talked about on New York Times is simply that let players make the money that the market makes. So for example, endorsements that schools have, that the players are in, the players should receive some sort of check from that. Autographs that they have to sign, jerseys. For example, Zion Williamson last year, the most popular player in college sports. And yes, in college sports, not just basketball, but in college sports. And they're selling a jersey and He's not receiving any money. He's just going out there, playing on the court, trying to get to a professional level, yes. He gets free tuition, yes, but there's so many other factors that people don't realize that comes into play. By paying them, you kind of give them a chance to provide maybe for their families back at home because some of these guys come from poor back backgrounds and they need the money to help support themselves while they're at school. Again, whether it's food and supplies, 
or just wanting to send money back home to their families. It's just something that gives them a chance to earn a little extra money for themselves and for their families. Now, if we look at the different positives and negatives of this solution, you can see how the positives outweigh the negatives. The positives of this is the, simply the fact that they're getting paid. It limits uh, the external factors of them being sent a paycheck for endorsements so that when they go to a professional level, they're able to sign with, let's say, Adidas. Adidas pays a player so that they can be certain that the player is going to sign with them. That limits that factor. If the players are getting paid, they're not even thinking about that because they can live off what they have now. They could worry about that if they get to the professional level. And another positive is that, like I said, they could be able to send money back to their families. They can help bring in more revenue to the university. And they might stay longer, you know? If players stay longer, that more that's more revenue to the school. Because if they get paid, why wouldn't they want to stay? Some negatives that you might see is simply the fact that they lose their aspirations for the game. But that's not really likely. They're playing the sport for a reason, but they may lose aspirations for the game. They may say, okay, I don't really need to play that hard anyway because I'm getting paid. Another <clears throat> negative is that it might be unfair compensation between players because well, just like in professionals, there's players that, are, that can perform at a higher level that deserve to get paid a little bit more than other players. So players might take that as being unfair, but that's just the way the world is today. And whatever job you have, some people are at a higher level and they deserve to get a little bit more than you do. But once you earn that spot, you can have that spot. So these outcomes both can take place, but I would say, and I think you would say, the positive outweigh the negatives. This brings me to the conclusion of my speech. I want you guys to remember that when you're watching these games, when you're watching the playoffs, the tournaments, you understand that those players on the actual court are not getting paid and they should be paid. Why should everyone else get paid and not them? Thank you for listening.